So here we go with video 17 in my series on how to use AnyRail. Now this time out, I'm going to try and explain how to get an image from say a website, a magazine, a DVD, or a track plan book. And then take that plan and turn it into something that you can use in AnyRail. Now before we start, I want to point out that I will be mentioning some software and hardware products by their model and their manufacturer's name. I'm not recommending the purchase or use of these products, nor am I recommending them over any product you may already own and use. I do not receive any compensation in any form from any of the products or manufacturers that I'll be talking about or demonstrating in these videos. All of the software and hardware that I'll be using are items that I have purchased for my own use, and I'm merely using them here for demonstration purposes. Now, this video will be in three parts. In the first part, I'll show you how to get the image for use in an image processing program. And this will be from, a, uh, be from the web or a DVD. In the second part, I'll show you how I set up my scanners and scan from a print, a magazine, or a book. Now the techniques I show you work for the software and hardware that I have, and it will probably be different for what you have, but the principle should be the same. And then in the third part, I'll show you how to take our images and manipulate them in an image processing program, and then assemble the images if your track plan requires multiple sections. Now sometimes a large layout might just span two pages in a magazine, and if they do, you have to turn them into one drawing. Now I'll be using Adobe Acrobat Pro and Corel Paint Shop Pro in all of my demonstrations. This will not be an in-depth tutorial on either of those programs, and I'll show you how to do the basic things you need, and you can adapt my procedures to work in whatever program or programs you use. Now, all the track plans we'll be working with are coming from Model Railroader. Since you have to be a subscriber to use the Model Railroader track plan database or actually have to purchase a magazine or DVD to get the track plan, I don't think Kalmbach Publishing will have any problems with my demonstrations here. And if they do, well, we're just going to have to come up with something else in the future. So we'll start with how to get a track plan off the web. In this case, the Model Railroader track plan database. I'll also show you how to grab a plan off of a DVD. And the DVD that we're going to be using is this one. This is the Model Railroad Planning 25 Year Special Issue Archive. It covers the years from 1995 to 2019, and there's a lot of good info in here about planning your layout. We'll also be using a copy of Model Railroader Magazine and a very, very old copy of Railroads You Can Model from 1976. Now, when we use the magazine and the book, I'll show you how things have changed in the publications. In recent years, Model Railroader has been splitting up the track plans that span two pages. It makes it a lot easier to scan them. In the older book, they don't split them up, and sometimes there is lost information when you scan the track plan. I'm going to show you how to take those images and clean them up and put them together into something useful. Now, something I have that you probably won't is several different types of scanners. In fact, I have four different types of scanners here at my desk. I have this many because I use them for scanning old manuals and catalogs for my website, Steam Powered Radio. I sometimes have to scan a large schematic, say 48 by 36 inches for a manual. And I do this by scanning them in multiple sections and then assembling them in PaintShop Pro. And over the years, I've developed a couple of tricks to get good scans. Now these tricks work for me, but you might have a better idea, and if you do, please share it with us in the comments section. So let's take a quick look at some of the scanners. I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I'm going to say this is the type of scanner that most of you have. It's an all-in-one. It prints, it scans, it faxes. Does anyone fax anymore? I don't know. One thing it doesn't do is scan cats very well, but we'll cover that in our next video, Scanning Cats for Fun and Profit. But in the meantime, this type of scanner will work well for what you want to do. But let me show you the two types of scanners that I prefer. So this is the first of my scanners that I like to use. It's a PlusTech Optic Book 4800. And what's nice about this scanner is the scanning edge is only two millimeters wide. That's less than one tenth of an inch. So what that means is when you're scanning a book, it only cuts off two millimeters from the fold. So when you put it on here like that, you're not losing much of the book edge. 
This makes it really handy for like when you're scanning a book or you're scanning a manual or a catalog. Now the scanner we'll be using for the demonstration is a PlusTech Optic Slim 1180. It's an 11 by 17 scanner. It actually scan larger images than that. And as you can see, I keep two pieces of foam core inside of it. And I'll explain why when we actually do some scanning. But as you can see, being an 11 by 17 scanner makes it easy to scan an open book like that. All right, so let's start demonstrating on how to get your track plan from print and into any rail. Okay, so let's look at the first way to get your track plan. Now, the first track plan we're going to look at is the Red Rock Northern, which is the one that I've been using for all my demonstrations in the videos. And this is the plan that I'm thinking of building. And this plan came from the Model Railroader Track Plan Database. And the only way to get into the Track Plan Database is to be a subscriber to Model Railroader. So if you are, you can go there and you can browse hundreds of different track plans. And I'm not going to show you how to do that because when you open that web page, there are all sorts of ads on it that keep popping up all over the place. And I don't want to take the time to um, block them out. And I'm not even sure if I can display that page legally on on YouTube. So uh, we're just going to take it as you went there and you got your plan. I am going to show you this, however. When you select your plan, it comes up and tells you this information about the plan. And here's an image here that you can click on. And that will open up as a PDF in your web browser. There are other ways to get the plan, and that's down here where it says downloadable files. And the first one, it says Red Rock Northern. If you click on that, it will open it up as a PDF. And then it says problems opening this file. Save to your computer instead. And that's the one I always use. I don't know why. It just seems to have worked better for me in the past. Okay, we have our track plan or track plans that we want to take a look at. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come up here. And we want to look at the whole image. And on this one, you will notice that it has staging tracks. And they included the staging tracks as a smaller drawing inside the larger drawing. Now that's one way that you'll see staging tracks on a drawing. Another way that you'll see it is like this. Here's the main track plan here. And then on the second page is your hidden staging tracks. And what we have to do is we have to extract the staging tracks and turn them into an image as well. And I'll show you how to do that. The procedure is the same, whether the staging tracks are all on the same image or on two different pages. So now we want to turn this into an image that we can edit. And if you look up here, you'll see it says it's secured. And what this means is I can't come over here and I can't say export as an image JPEG Here's my file folder that I want to put it in. And it's going to come up as a JPEG. And if I hit save, it says insufficient permissions for image extraction. Okay, that's because this is a secured file. You need a password to open this up. I can't do it this way either. I could come down here and I could say save as. And I could say, okay, I don't want to save it as a PDF. I want to save it as a JPEG. Hit save, and once again, insufficient permissions for image extraction. So that causes a problem, but not a big problem. Now, the other way that I grabbed a track plan was I took one from a DVD I just bought, and it's called Model Railroad Planning 25-Year Special Issue Archive, 1995 to 2019. And I put that into the DVD drive in my computer, and I opened up this drawing. And this is from the 2016 issue of Model Railroad Planning. It's called the Georgia Northeastern. And if you look up above, we have the exact same thing. It says secured. So that means we can't send this out as a JPEG, either by exporting or by saving as. So what do we do? Well, we're going to have to print them. And of course, like everything else, there are a couple of ways to print this. So I don't know what kind of software you have on your computer, but I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing this. Now, the first way is to come up here, go to File, and say Print. And you get a dialog box that pops up. And now we're working with an image from the Model Railroad Planning DVD. So what we want to do here is we want to go to Current, 
because we want to look at just that page. And then we're going to come up here, we're going to select where we're going to print this to. Now the first thing we can do is we can print it to our printer. So right here I have it being sent to my Office Jet Pro. I also have it set to fit so I get the maximum amount of image on the page. And I can go ahead and I can hit print and it will send it to the printer and then I'll have a print that I can scan. Another thing I can do is I can come up here and I can select to export it. This is different than the export that we saw before. I can export it as an Adobe PDF or I can export it as a Microsoft print to PDF. And again, I don't know what kind of computer you're running or what software you're running. Now I have found that I can print to PDF from the DVD using both Adobe and Microsoft. But an image that I've gotten from the track plan database will not allow me to print from the Adobe. It will only allow me to print with using this Microsoft print to PDF. So let's select that. We're still looking at the current page. And we're going to say print. So select the folder that you want to save it in. And we'll have to give it a name. So let's give it a name here. And then we'll say save. And now if I look at that file folder, there it is right there as an Adobe Acrobat. Now the reason I'm showing you two ways to print is because my image processing program allows me to pull in a PDF and then it will convert it and I can then work on it that way. And I don't know if all image processing programs will do that. And like I said, I don't know what you have on your computer. So that's why I'm going to show you how to turn it into a printed image and how to turn it into the PDF. So let's print this image and I'll show you how to scan it and then put it into your image processing program so that you can then bring that into any rail. So to print these out on paper, we will come up here, we will go to file, we will go to print, opens the print dialog box. Make sure that we have our printer selected. Make sure we are on current page. And you can do either fit or actual size. An actual size here looks a little bit larger. So I'm going to go with that. And we want to do it in portrait. And we're doing this on eight and a half by 11 inch paper. Now you can come up here to properties, go to paper, go to select the paper size. You could do it on tabloid if your printer will handle 11 by 17. So you'd come up here and you would say fit. And then you'll see that it will print it onto a tabloid size paper. But we're just going to do this on regular eight and a half by 11. Go back to actual size here. Now I am going to go back to properties and I'm going to go to print quality and I'm going to tell it to do it at best. Hit OK. Make sure this all looks right and then I'm going to go ahead and hit print. And there we go. We have our print of the Georgia Northeastern. Now I'm also going to print this one and this one is the two page one. So let's go up here and let's print that one. We want to print the current page. We'll see which one looks better. Does it look better on fit? Yes, it does. Come up to properties. Still on best. Okay. And let's print this one as well. Now this one is a two page PDF. It has the staging tracks on another page. So let's print this page as well. Check which one looks best. It's going to be fit. And we'll hit print. And I'm also going to print the Red Rock Northern. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up how to get a track plan off of the web or off of a DVD. 
In the next video, we'll talk about how to use a scanner to scan a track plan from, say, a book or a magazine. And we'll go over the basic settings for your scanner, and I'll also talk about some tips and techniques that I've learned about scanning books and magazines over the years. So on a personal note, I would just like to thank you for hanging in through this entire video. Some of the things I go over in this video you probably already know, but unfortunately it's kind of hard to figure out what to include in an instructional video like this. Some of you already know the basics of these programs, but then again there are some people out there who do not know how to use these programs. And for those people, I just want to include the basics in these videos uh, just to help you along. So I hope I did include enough information to help you and not make it too boring, and we'll see you in the next video.